Okay, so I gave it some thought. So I gave it some thought and came up with some ideas that you could uh, use to make your CDs more interesting if you're not able to scratch them. Um, so uh, you can color with colored pencil. Colored pencil works on these really well. Um, it's uh, This stuff is also just a little bit like chalkboard paint, so you can always um, try and use um, chalk on it. You can also color it with a crayon, and if you want, you can try melting the crayon with a hairdryer. It might even out the color a little bit. Uh, you can try coloring over it like multiple times before you melt it and see what happens. You can grate or chop a crayon up and then um, put those on top of your CD, cover them with parchment paper, and you can either melt them with an iron or a hairdryer. You can paint it. You should have some paint. Um, if you participated last month, you might still have some paint left over and your paint brushes. Otherwise, you can just use anything, any paint or um, uh, paint brushes that you have laying around the house. You could also cover it in stickers. I know I have a bunch of stickers sort of laying around, so those would be a good way to use those up and use that, and then you can hang them on your wall. You can hang them on your wall with any of these. You can glue beads or perler beads. Perler beads are those ones that you melt together. Um, usually those are like on a, uh, you know, like a template, but you can always put them on there too. Um, I would just glue them though. Uh, or you can just put regular beads on there. doesn't matter to me. You can make a pattern, just do random, completely up to you. And then, you know, when all else fails, just cover it in glitter. <laughs> That's kind of what I do. So, you know, there will always be failures in life. This program was a bit of a failure as it was, um, but that's okay. Uh, you always try and find a way to turn those failures into successes. So if something doesn't turn out perfect the first time, it's always a good and easy thing to do to turn it around and create something new. So I highly recommend that you be creative. Look for stuff that you have around the house that you you'd like to glue to your CD, um, really turn this project around because I have faith in you guys and your creativity. Well, thank you so much for joining me. I'm sorry that this one didn't work out exactly the way we had planned, but that doesn't mean that we can't make it a success, right? So um, I will see you guys next week. Thank you. Bye-bye.